Hi there, I'm Brenda Cadman from Von Accord Creative and in today's quick Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the infographic features in Canva. So let's jump on over to Canva now. Canva recently introduced some new options into the charts area of elements. And I think that you'll be interested in playing with these if you have any desire to create infographic designs for your business. You'll see the pictogram features here, and you're able to choose from a variety of pictogram icons, including people, transportation, and a variety of other kinds of icons. And you can specify the total number of items in your pictogram, and you can also specify the number of fill items, and then you can change the color of both of those icons as well. And you can also adjust the spacing of the pictograms. I also love some of these other interactive chart elements that you might want to use as part of an infographic, such as the progress ring. In this progress ring chart, I can change the percentage being filled, I can change the line weight, and I can also turn the percentage label on or off, and then I can also choose whether to have rounded endpoints. And I also have control over the brand colors being used, so I can change the colors being used in this ring chart as well. And then you can also take the same approach with the progress bar, the radial progress, and the progress dial chart options. And you'll also find a lot of infographic templates already available on Canva that you can use as a starting point. These are utilizing these new infographic chart type icons. And if you go to your Canva homepage and search on infographic, you'll see that you'll get a ton of results to start with. Stay tuned for more quick Canva tips and tutorials, and if you're looking for a step-by-step -step introduction to using Canva more efficiently in your business, be sure to check out my Canva 101 mini course.